After Sunday's elections, Hong Kong's relationship with mainland China might get a bit bumpier. A new group of candidates who want a greater autonomy for Hong Kong from China won seats in the elections, the first major vote since pro-democracy protests two years ago. More than 58 percent of registered voters showed up at the polls, a record turnout. The newly elected candidates have a more aggressive stance on autonomy for Hong Kong. Many were involved in the Occupy protests when thousands of residents blocked the streets for 79 days. Hong Kong citizens were angry that Beijing and the Hong Kong government were unwilling to let them nominate their own candidates for chief executive next year. Beijing has been critical of the Occupy protests and the new political groups. Nathan Law, one of the main student leaders from the 2014 protests, won a seat for his new party named Demosisto. Law becomes the legislature's youngest member at 23 years old. It, it shows how Hong Kong people want to change. And uh, actually, we were stuck in uh, a democratic movement, and people are voting for a new way and new future of our democratic movement. Sunday's vote paves the way for the election of Hong Kong's next leader, taking place in March 2017.